Hi, this is Russ from Production Expert, and I want to show you just how easy it is to get really great sounds out of FabFilter Twin 3 and how easy it is to program it using their really cool uh, design for using this. So what I've got here is a very simple saw wave, and what I'm going to do is add a second one in. I'm going to make them the same octave. Now what we could do is do some detuning, but I'm not going to do it there. What I'm going to do is show you how powerful it is to do this using modulation. So I hit this plus sign here, and I'm going to go to new XLFO, which gives me an LFO. And all I need to do is what I'm going to do first is make that just slightly, just really gentle, that LFO to about there. And then what I'm going to do is pick it up and take it to the tuning. Still quite a lot. Just tiny then I'm gonna do the same again to the second LFO and now what I'm gonna do in this one is I'm gonna put it in minus mode so as one goes in tune up to the plus the other one will go to the opposite Then what we can do then make it stereo as well however big you want to make it now that's already taken a very basic saw just two and uh, giving us a nice start starting point for the tone. What I'm going to do is pull the release out a bit. Then take the filter. So very quickly, I've just started to build a nice sound. Then what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to put the reverb on and the chorus and the delay and very quickly I'm building a cool sound now what I can do now is I like to control those three uh, effects and bring them in and out and so what I'm going to do go to new slider and I'm going to just link that to reverb and then I'm going to link it to chorus and delay I can do what I like with all of these, but I'm being very quick here just to show you how fast it is to build sounds in this. So now, I can add more in, but what I'm going to do first is pull all these back quite a lot so that they're virtually dry at the bottom. And then on the green one, if I click on this, I can say how much that slide is going to affect that. So if I click that one and that one, delay amount up to there and then come out to the chorus and do the chorus amount as well right up there loads of chorus now you'll see that and now I can name that as well FX let's do that here as well I want to say tune on that one tune for that I'm going to do one last one just to show you how powerful this is. I'm going to, up, I'm going to put another uh, XLFO in. And this one, I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to make it random. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it up here on the filter. To give that filter some... And also I'm going to push that up. Now I want to control that when I'm playing. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to quickly assign the LFO. Come in here and I go MIDI source. I'm going to sorry, I'm going to go to mod wheel. And I'm going to grab the mod wheel and bring it to that second LFO there. And that mod wheel then will bring will will say how much of the, that is going to be controlled by the LFO. So what we want to do first is come back into here, pull that right down. And then you can see now as I go to the LFO here, so if we play it now, I can control that using the LFO. My mod wheel is controlling that. So as you can see, very quickly, I've taken a basic source out and I've only got two running there. I could add two more in now. 232s if I wanted to. 
and again get the first tuning LFO back onto these two. And as you can hear again, just bring out the, uh, the width as well. And I've got two modulators also assigned on the keyboard as well, so I can change the, uh, the filter frequency. And the notch there as well, the resonance. I could keep going all day. I've not even touched the arpeggiator. I've not touched a lot of stuff in this, but as you could see, you can start with very basic stuff. You can start with either a clean, just a single waveform and then start doing what I've been doing, or you can start with the, the presets in here as well, which are quite complex as well, and then make them your own. The great thing about Twin 3 is that I think it means that you're going to be making sounds that you're not going to hear on everybody else's tracks, and that's got to be a bonus. If you want to see what we all thought of it in an expert review, then head over to the website using the link below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.